What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is another Friday which means Zer has returned to the tower. So he's down here in the lounge area of the hangar and uh, let's see if the guy on Reddit predicted his inventory correctly. Speak. So here we go, here's Zer's inventory, it looks like it is exactly what he said. So let's jump into it. For the Titan we have the Helm of Saint-14. Increased melee attack speed and more super energy from non guarding kills, and also Ward of Dawn blinds enemies who enter it. So, really good helmet overall. I recommend, I recommend this one 100%. It's really good in PvE, not bad in PvP as well. This one's a really good helmet. If you have a Titan, go ahead and pick it up if you don't have it already. For the Hunter, we have the Young Ahamkara Spine. Trip mine grenades last longer when placed. Increased reload speed with special weapons and more super energy from grenade kills. Not that good of an exotic. I'd use my slot on a Mask of Third Man or an Aclophage Symbiote instead. But if you want it to complete a collection or just to have it and stuff like that, you can go ahead and pick it up. But I go ahead and pass for better exotics like these. For the Warlock, we have the Skull of Dire Ahamkara, which he's never sold before. So finally, if you don't have this one, you can add it to your collection. This one has increased grenade throw distance, more super energy from grenade kills, and tougher while using Nova Bomb and improved energy drain. So this helmet is just average in my opinion. I use it occasionally with my Warlock in Crucible or PvP, uh, just because it's harder when I use my. It's harder for me to get killed when I'm using my Nova Bomb, which is always good, and it improves my melee a bit. So. It's pretty good in PvP, I'd say, but in general, I'd use the Obsidian Mine or Apotheosis Veil over this, or other exotics like Heart of Praxic Fire or whatnot. So uh, this one's just average, but if you don't have it and you want to add it to your collection, you can go ahead and pick it up. For the weapon, we have the Icebreaker once again, a really good weapon. Icebreaker's victims spontaneously combust, dealing damage to the others nearby, kind of like the Firefly perk, except it does not require a precision kill or precision yeah precision shot and then missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine really good gun a must have in everyone's arsenal if you don't have it already go ahead and pick it up if you missed out before uh, really good gun I recommend it 100% for anyone that does not have this and then he has the exotic engram this week it's a chest engram so if you want to gamble on that go ahead and pick it up and then for the upgrades, we have the Symbiote and the Mask of the Third Man. Both of these are really good. I'd recommend either of them, depending on your playstyle, what subclass you use. For the Titan, we have Inmost Light and Insurmountable Skull Fort. I recommend the Skull Fort just because it has the Replenish Health when you pick up an Orb perk, which is good for Crota on Hard Mode. And then we have the Light Beyond Nemesis and Sunbreakers for the Warlock. I recommend Light Beyond Nemesis because it has the same perk like the skull fort and it also has spawn more orbs which is really good for your teammates when you play uh, crota on hard as well for the guns we have Soros regime bad juju meta multi-tool plan c thunderlord and yallerhorn all these guns are really good in my opinion um obviously like yallerhorn is better than the rest or Soros is better than some of these other ones but whatever you want, you want to upgrade that you don't have upgrade, I'd recommend. All of these are pretty decent guns as a whole. And then lastly, he has Heavy Ammo Synthesis once again. And I recommend picking this up this week because according to the guy's prediction, he did predict the next two weeks, which was this week and the week after that. And in the week after that, he predicted that Zer will not sell Heavy Ammo. So if you want to stock up now... Go ahead and do so because he will not be selling it in the future or in the next week according to the guy's prediction. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.